Hello everybody, we're here on the Hunter Call of the Wild once again, this time with a member requested video from one of our tier 3 members here on the channel named T2. He wanted me to do a duck hunt with a uh, special loadout, something we don't normally use. So we are going to be using the 10 gauge shotgun as I rarely use this thing to hunt ducks and I figured we could go for some green wing teal since we haven't really hunted them yet. And right here we've got our very first flock of green wing teal, though this flock only has four of them, so we're not going to be able to get as many down as I had hoped in this first little group, and that right there is some mallards, so that's not going to help us either. But there is a male right here, I believe, and we're going to try and get it. There we go. I don't use the 10 gauge too much, so I'm not exactly sure how well we're going to do with it, but we did get the only male out of that group as far as I could tell. And there we go, our very first uh, green wing teal of the day. This one is a 342 light green plumage type. We only hit one pellet from the bird shot, though I do believe the bird shot from 10 gauge actually does have less pellets, so I guess it makes sense that only one of them hit. We are now at our uh, second setup that I put down for today, and we're going to uh, go ahead and take down this little guy right here, provided we can get a shot into him, and there we go. Let's see if we can get that. Probably not going to happen, but worth trying. We did get the only male out of the group once again, so I would say that that is a win in the long run, but let's see if we can maybe get a couple more as there is still some teal in the area. Let's get a look at this little guy right here. That is a light green male scoring 408.46. You know, these things score considerably higher than the uh, Eurasian teal do, if I'm not mistaken which is uh, definitely interesting to see. I believe that it is just because of the weights of them. From what I remember, um, whenever it's under 1kg, they kind of go into like a, a grams rating. So this thing weighs about 408 grams, and that is uh, how it is scored. So I guess there must just be a uh, slight weight differences between the Eurasian teal and the green wing teal, but uh, then again, I could just be remembering wrong. But you guys let me know down in the comments, of course, as I'm not always uh, correct on everything. So would uh, be very appreciative if you guys uh, were to let me know if that really is the case, because I feel like these do have higher scores than the Eurasian teal. Well, this just might be the best spot yet. There is ducks all over of all kinds, it seems. Uh, we're currently up here at Forgotten Pond, which is in the top left of the map. This definitely seems like it is the most loaded location so far in terms of the teal. And I even hear a whitetail behind us. Let's see if we can get some of these down. I don't know how many we're going to be able to get with the 10 gauge only having three rounds, but we're going to at least try to get a few of them. And it looks like they're all just landing right here. I mean, that's one. Well, that did not go how I thought it would, but um, that's pretty par for the course with the 10 gauge. Like I said, this isn't exactly a, a gun that I've used a lot, so I'm not exactly great with it. And also it does have only three rounds and can't take a sight, so not really the most ideal thing for quick flying teal, but you know, we'll work around it. We've now got a few more teal flying over top of us, and I think this time I might try to shoot a little bit sooner before they actually uh, spook off like that last group did. That might make things go a little bit smoother, and in fact, I think the first chance we get, we'll probably try to just pop one out of the sky. Here we go. That is one down. Is there any more? Unfortunately, most of the areas on this map are a little bit brushy, so it's kind of hard to re- locate where they've gone after you take the first shot you know i'm wondering if there is any wide open areas on new england mountains that actually will allow us to get some better follow-up shots i'm starting to think that maybe it is just how brushy this map is it's kind of going to make it difficult we will uh keep trying this location but depending on how the uh, trees affect the amount of ducks we're able to get we might have to move to a different location well, anyway, let's go ahead and grab this guy right here. 389 light green male green wing teal. And we've got more flying over top of us. You know, let's just try to pop one out of the sky right now. You know, maybe that's going to be the way to do it. Maybe that is going to be the way to do it. Take them while they're out above the water and uh, just go for the shot as they are flying over you. And in fact, this guy's coming back. We might be able to even get another, though it's quite far away. So, yeah, probably not going to happen. 
All right, let's grab this little one right here. That is our biggest one of the day. Our very first gold at 424.87. Managed to sneak one pellet in there at about 57 meters. So not too bad. That's about as much as we could ask for for a longer range shot. But uh, definitely not a bad teal. Now let's try this once again. Yep, this is definitely the way to do it. Just take the shots as they begin to get into range. Instead of waiting for them to start landing, this is already working out so much better. There is a little light green female. Nothing too crazy, but another one down. And now for this little guy right here, 386.89 light green male. I'm really hoping that we can just get as many down as possible today and work towards getting a diamond or rare respawn as I do really want to try and get one of the rares because apparently the green wing teal have both albino and piebalds that are actually rare. So that would be a really cool thing to get if we could possibly accomplish it. So that is kind of what we're working towards today. Oh my gosh, there's so many above us. That is two of them down. To be honest, I probably should have grabbed a second 10 gauge since they do only have three rounds. That's really the downside to this. Like the biggest downside to the 10 gauge is the three rounds. It'd be so much nicer if we did have six similar to the 12 gauge, but unfortunately it just doesn't have that. There is another teal on the ground and I believe there should be one more floating over here. Yes, right here. I believe this one should be a male. Actually, it is another female once again, so we didn't get any males that time. We got more coming in. Let's go ahead and pop a couple if we can. I do want to make sure that we're actually going to hit these, so I am going to take my time picking out which ones to go for. Actually, they're going to go down to the water. We might be able to get multiple this time. That is a male right there. You know what? Let's just... Go for that, and then that as well. Beautiful. We ended up getting both of them. Can we hit it? Oh my gosh, we actually hit that. That was a crazy long range shot, and somehow we got it down. I like how at this point, I'm not even using the blind. I'm kind of just sitting on the shoreline and waiting for them to fly over top of me, and it's working out better. That is kind of crazy. That time we did actually end up getting a male 388.63 along with another male at 359. You know, as long as we're getting these males down, that is really all that I am trying to do. We just need to get as many of them down as possible in hopes of getting a rare one eventually. And here comes some golden eye out of nowhere, but I don't think we're going to get a shot at those. All right, here we go. And that will be two more ducks down. You know, we're probably going to have to do a quick loop around the lake and pick up a couple that were on land. Because I think at least two of them did land on the opposite bank, which will uh, make it so they cannot float to us. So we will have to run around and try to figure out if we do have any like that. I know there's got to be at least a couple. All right, so let's go ahead and grab these teal real quickly. Doesn't look like really anything too special there. I think it's about time we go around the lake and pick up the ones that we got a little bit ago. And here's the one that we got from super far away, 90 meters. That is honestly crazy. It almost made gold as well, but that shot distance is definitely our best of the day. We have smoked so many ducks here that you can't even see the Forgotten Pond anymore. It is just completely covered up. That, that's crazy. This area is absolutely loaded, not just with the green wing teal, but also with the golden eye and the mallard. This is a really good spot just in general. And it seems like we already have more. Yep, we already have more over top of us. That's not a shotgun. Uh, let's see if we can pick up the... No, nope, we messed up there. Oh! Correction, we got it. That, that was quite the clutch shot. So there's that little level 2 male. Let's get a look at him. Actually, I guess it was a level 1 male, but still a male nonetheless. 368.37 on the score. Once again, light green plumage type. Now we are back at the place that we started. Let's see if we can maybe pick off this little male in the front here. As well as a couple more of them. Honestly, we've been getting a lot more kills ever since we started uh, shooting a little bit earlier than what we were. I was waiting until they started landing, trying to get the closer shots, but to be honest, we're doing better just 
taking them the second they get within range. And also for those uh, curious, this is the area that we're at currently. It's at Hawthorne Lake. This area is definitely decent for teal. Not as good as the last place, but I do still see some of them here. But to be honest, I think I see more golden eyes in this area and mallards as well. But again, it's still a, a great spot for teal also. Uh, three female teal. I, I don't know why there's no male in the group, but I guess we will uh, take them down anyway. Can we get the third? It is a lot farther away, but no, we're definitely not going to get that. Well, before the uh, rest of these teal come in, let's go ahead and grab all of them. 394 on that little level two male right there. And then I believe the rest are females, so we'll just real quickly uh, swing by and grab them. Okay, now that is a pretty big group of teal right there. There's a couple males. If we can, I would like to pick off both of them. But it's hard to say if both of them will give us a shot. Let's just try to call them a little closer. And we should be able to have our opportunity very shortly. Well, we ended up getting two of the three, and I believe those were both males that we just took down. And this one right here is, I believe, from earlier. I don't think that was the one of the ones we just got, but that was another male. So there are the two that we just took down. It seems like that is indeed a female, so I guess the second one we shot was a female. This should be a male, though. Actually, it's a female as well. So somehow I got them mixed up when they were uh, mid-flight. I mean, I guess it is what it is, but a little bit unfortunate those males got away. Well, here's a rare opportunity when you're not even hunting them. A golden eye is flying over, and we can actually get a couple of them down. We don't even have any decoy set up or anything and just happened to get a uh, couple golden eye to fly over us and give us a good shot. And that one right there is a 946 male. And I do believe the other one was also a male. Well, it was a female, but it is what it is. Oh my gosh, that's a level three mallard. I, oh my gosh, we got to try and get that thing down. I did not expect to be seeing a very high level mallard flying over top of us. And now we've got to go get the decoys for it. Well, this just got interesting. Well, there it is. There's our level three mallard. Let's try to keep our eyes on this guy. I don't want to accidentally mix him up with the others and take the wrong one. So we are going to just keep our eye on this guy right here and wait for him to get close enough for us to actually take the shot. Although there is so many ducks flying around right now, it honestly may be tough to get this guy. He may spook off before we even get a chance to take him. Because from what I remember, if one of the group actually spooks, then the rest will spook as well. And there's a lot landing around us, so it is possible we might lose this guy, but it seems his group is landing. Here he comes. And we got him. Let's go. Unfortunately, not great shots on the others. So they ended up getting away, but we got down the one that mattered, the level three mallard. I believe this is a teal right here. The mallard should be further over. Yeah, I believe that is the blood from him. Yep, that is blood from a mallard duck. Let's figure out where this guy bounced off to. Well, there it is. We got ourselves a level three mallard duck and it is a diamond at 19.84. You know, it's been a while since I've killed a diamond mallard, so that's actually pretty cool. A nice uh, addition to our lodge. We've definitely got a few places that we could put this guy. So that is pretty awesome. You know, leave it to call the wild to uh, give us a diamond that we're not even looking for. I swear that happens more often than not here in the hunter call of the wild. You'll be searching for something and Call the Wild, instead of giving you that, we'll just throw some random animal into the mix as a diamond or a rare. This time it was a mallard during a green wing teal hunt. And let's just pop that little guy out of the sky. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what type of duck this is. I just took the shot, so let's see if it's a mallard or a teal. I think it's a teal. Yeah, that actually is a green wing teal, so got the uh, species we were after after all. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video right here. It was quite a bit of fun, and though we didn't get a trophy teal like I wanted, we did end up getting a diamond mallard, so in the end, it was all worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment down below letting me know what else we should do here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Is there anything in particular you'd like me to do, or any uh, like in particular video you'd like me to make? 
If you've got suggestions, leave them down below. Also, if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe as over half of you watch the videos but aren't actually subscribed. So at this point, if you're already watching them, you might as well subscribe to the channel and help us reach our goal of 100K. But with that being said, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.